My name is Susan Cable. I've had many lives on this earth, one of which is this one, where I'm learning and practicing the ways of the shamans, using their medicines and spiritual rituals to heal my body and my mind. I'll be filming alongside Purity, who you will see in the rest of the video, and I'll be taking you along on the journey. This is the story of how I got here. In 2021, I was working at Hudson Yards in New York. COVID was kind of coming to a close in the city. I was living with my boyfriend at the time, and we went out for my birthday dinner. I took an edible that night. The next morning, I woke up and I was like a totally different person. And I was like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? What am I doing here? I bored out my wits. I'm not doing anything creative. I was working remotely. That next morning, I made the decision to move to LA. That started this sort of journey to where I am now, where I'm trying to answer some of the questions that I've had my entire life. So, <clears throat> I'm in LA and I'm going on auditions and stuff like that. Then I all of a sudden get cancer. I went for a checkup and they told me that I had ovarian cancer and it had already spread to my liver, my lymph nodes, my intestines. The doctor was like, okay, we need to get you in next week to operate. They were going to remove my entire uterus, my cervix, and they were going to take a chunk out of my intestines as well. I was like, this is, this is insane, like really surreal. Something just didn't feel right. So I started like talking to a lot of alternative medicine practitioners. I learned so much. One of which is that cancer is actually your body finally healing itself from some emotional damage that you've had that has turned into cancer. It's about the emotional damage that's behind it. So the cancer is the healing process. If this is the healing process, I don't want to cut it out. I want to see what will happen if I start to treat this using alternative methods. Part of that process, I wanted to also get close to my family. I had been talking to them about moving to Atlanta to be closer to them. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna wait. <laughs> Who knows what could happen next week? So I packed everything up, drove to Atlanta. I was gonna get a place there. This was March of this year. I flew to Mexico for my birthday. I was like, I need to do some type of ceremonial thing. I want to do ayahuasca, I want to take plant medicine, and I want to know what that's like. Somebody added me to like happenings in Tulum group, and somebody posted that there was going to be a peyote ceremony. That ceremony changed my life. After the ceremony, I was talking to one of the shamans. It was just talking about the necessity to have a lifestyle that is conducive to health. I had been trying to, to do that by moving to California. So when I heard him say that, I was like, this is what I've been trying to do. I'm going to move to Mexico to continue my healing journey. Prior to moving there, I had a CAT scan, and I stayed in Mexico for about three months doing lots of ceremonies, doing like healing rituals, just really trying to get to the emotional reason why I have cancer, but really digging deep into my dark side that I had been hiding. So, <laughs> doing the emotional work. I flew back to New York after three months, got another CAT scan. My blood was flowing better. I was just healed there yeah. in a way where it was like pumping blood again. I was so happy and so excited and the CAT scan showed that so CA-125 is how they measure cancer in your body. Its highest it was around 2000. It's at 500 before or going to Mexico and it was 50 at my last CAT scan. And normal is 35. I just had the CAT scan. The doctor said instead of them prescribing to do that surgery where they would like remove everything or chemo, she said continue doing what you're doing for another three months and then come in for another checkup. I threw all my stuff in, a, in my car, drove to Texas where we are right now. That's how I got here and that's why I'm here. This cancer diagnosis is showing me that it doesn't matter what, what I think about it. I am healing. This is what it takes for me to heal. And I feel like in the past when I haven't followed my heart, it has led to things like this diagnosis. It has led to depression, it has led to anxiety. Now, I'm not gonna say that I still don't suffer with depression and anxiety. The plant medicines have been helping a lot. Working with, with these shamans does. It shows you yourself. It comes with a question like, okay, like what are you gonna do about it?